Hey everyone, what is going on? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. I hope you're all keeping well. I am keeping pretty well this week. I'm getting back into a routine because uh, I was away on the weekend just gone in Barcelona. Rach actually surprised me for my 27th birthday, which was a really good present. Um, and yeah, we had an amazing time. I'm actually not 27 yet, by the way. I'll be 27 on the 26th of February, uh, which is not now, but when this video goes live, I will be 27. Um, but anyway, yeah, we had a good time. We went with two of our really good friends, ate some good food. We ate really, really well. I actually got loads of pictures and videos uh, on Instagram. And um, if you're not following me on Instagram, by the way, make sure uh, you do drop me a follow over there. You would have seen all of this on my stories. You probably get a better insight into me, you know, on my day to day over there. Um, so yeah, I'll leave my tag on the screen. Uh, but yeah, we tried loads of different bits. I actually tried an oyster for the first time, which I thought was not good. Do any of you use like oysters? I thought it just tasted like salt water uh, and nothing else. Um, oh, I had an empanada. Empanadas are unbelievably good. I had one for the first time actually last year when I was in Spain and ever since I had one, I've been dreaming of having one ever since. Uh, so yeah, I really capitalized on that. I got one with um, mince and caramelized onion and it just tasted really good. We got it in the food markets there. Um, what else did I get? Oh, I got this massive, like, stuffed cookie um, out of this bakery that loads of people actually did recommend, so it must be a bit of a spot in Barcelona. Um, to be honest, I'm not sure of the calories that were in this cookie. It was probably upwards of 500 or 600, um, but I genuinely don't care. You know, when I'm away on holidays, I will try the foods uh, and I will worry about the calories later. Uh, and I never go too overboard anyway. I might gain a, a pound or maybe two pounds, but it's never something absolutely crazy. Uh, so yeah, all in all, a really good trip. But yeah, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about my top five tips uh, to stop binge eating. And this is something that I have experienced in the past, especially when I was younger uh, and maybe not at my happiest, but you know, I think also as an online coach and somebody who was quite active on social media, um, yeah, I feel like it's something that has just become very normalized. So, you know, big names in the industry doing uh, massive cheat days or 10K calorie or 10, 20K calorie challenges. And I think all this does is send a message to people that, you know, this is normal. This is what people do in this industry. You can still achieve your goals whilst having these huge cheat days on a sem semi-regular basis. And that just isn't the case because, you know, what you don't see is the actual prep that goes into these challenges. So, you know, somebody might cut down for a week or two weeks actually leading up to the challenge uh, and they might spend at least a few days or even longer actually recovering uh, from the challenge, you know, when it is over. And, you know, for these people, it actually might be worth it because usually it gets them a lot of traction, a lot of follows, a lot of likes, etc. But for the average person, it's crazy. It's actually crazy. And again, I am talking from personal experience here because about four years ago, I actually did a 10K calorie challenge. I'm not sure if a lot of you guys have seen it. Um, maybe it got buried in just all of my videos. It did really well at the time, actually. Um, but yeah, a couple of years ago, I just made the decision that I'm never doing something like that again. You know, because, you know, as a person, as a coach, as somebody who, you know, I feel contributes well to the industry and give solid advice that's just not who i am as a person you know that is not the kind of approach and uh, that i believe in at all so yeah let's get into some tips let's get into some recipes that i haven't even mentioned but you are going to absolutely love these as well they're more on the sweet side of things today uh, which i know people love um, and yeah let's do it all right so my first tip when it comes to getting on top of your binge eating is addressing what the issue is, you know, trying to nail down the trigger, what it is that causes you to binge. And, you know, this isn't sexy advice. It's not something you will be able to just solve like that in the space of a day or two days, but it is real advice. So have a think about it. You know, is it simply just that you are consuming too few calories? Is it um, the constant stress that you are experiencing from taking on too much in work? Or maybe just being massively unorganized with um, college deadlines or, you know, with, exams and um, it could be something like the constant lack of sleep that you are getting it could be that you are in a toxic relationship and you are just massively unhappy on a weekly basis because personally i know that when i was most susceptible to binging 
And to be honest, this style of binging was going out uh, when I was in college and getting insanely drunk. So it was binge drinking. That is when I was in a relationship that probably should have ended years before. And once you do find this root cause, then you can start to put steps in place in order to address it. And this isn't easy a lot of the time. You know, it might involve a difficult conversation in work, you know, maybe with your boss because you are taking on too much or they are giving you too much to do. It might involve um, you changing your routine and going to bed an hour earlier, which can be difficult. And um, it might involve an open and honest and maybe a tough conversation with your other half on what needs to change inside of your relationship in order for you both to be happy and for it to work in the long term. But once you do address it and you start seeing results with the root and it starts getting better and better, your binge eating habits can massively benefit as a result. And before I go to my first meal, I would actually love to know if you guys have any experience with binge eating. Is this something that you have struggled with? And if so, do you have any tips that have really helped you on you know this journey and helped you overcome it? I think uh, if the comment section is full of people's experiences and tips, um, yeah, that would be amazing. So comment below and let me know. Okay, so my first recipe is a banger of a breakfast recipe. I've seen a good few different variations of it on TikTok, uh, but I wanted to play around with it myself. I wanted to get a bit creative and put my own spin on it. And honestly, I think I've done a really, really good job. I think a lot of you are gonna love it. Uh, so yeah, let me show you. Okay, so I'm gonna start by getting two of these Weetabix biscuits. I'm going to crush them both into little pieces. Then I'm gonna add in 120 ml of skimmed milk. I am going to mix it in. Now I've put my Weetabix to one side for a second. I'm gonna get one of these fitness puddings. But if you don't have anything like this where you live, then fat-free yogurt is perfectly fine, works really well, uh, and has similar calories and macros. Then I'm gonna add 30 grams of double chocolate whey protein into the mix. I get this from bulk, and I am going to mix it in. Then I'm gonna pour my pudding or yogurt mix on top of the Weetabix. Then simply just spread it around. You can do this by moving it like so. Uh, and you can also get your spoon as well. Then I'm gonna get one cookie which has 52 calories just for reference. And I'm simply just going to crush it with my hand and spread it over the top. Okay, we are looking insanely good. And then what I'm gonna do is pop a lid on it and leave it in the fridge overnight uh, or for at least a couple of hours. Oh, and just a quick one, seeing as it is the beginning of a new month, I've opened up five one-to-one uh, -one coaching spaces. So if you are somebody who is just really struggling uh, with your fitness goals at the moment, or maybe you have been for a long time, if you know that you know in order to get in the best shape possible for summer, you need the right plan in terms of training, in terms of nutrition, you need the right support. If you would love to work with me personally, uh, then I will leave my coaching application form in the comments section below. It will be the pinned comment at the top. And whenever I do open up one-to-one -one coaching spaces, there are always quite a lot of inquiries. So just make sure that if you are serious about your goals, if you are serious about working with me, um, your application form reflects exactly that. So yeah, get it filled out and I will be in touch ASAP. Okay, so tip number two and number three are based around the calories you are consuming and the calories you are burning. Because a lot of the time, people who are more susceptible to binge eating are either under eating, they are over exercising or a combination of the two. So if binge eating is something that you really, really struggle with and it's starting to become a real problem, then I really recommend trying to get on top of this first before focusing on your fat loss goal because if you don't do this, if you don't take this approach and you keep trying to force the calorie deficit, you will continue to binge eat, you know, and it will get to a point where it could spiral out of control. And as a result, you will just end up in a calorie surplus and you will actually start gaining weight instead of losing weight. So I know taking this step and increasing your calories can be scary, but I really recommend doing so. I recommend increasing them uh, to around your maintenance calories because that is just going to help you feel a lot more in control and then 
then you know when you have built this solid foundation and you have a much healthier relationship with food that is when you can start thinking about losing fat again and remember you can always split your calories up in a way that actually suits your lifestyle so for example you could consume 200 calories less than your maintenance every day from Monday to Friday then on Saturday you could consume 500 calories more and on Sunday you could consume 500 calories more and that would still balance out at your maintenance for the week you would still be eating at maintenance calories and tip number three is based around the calories that you are actually burning so between resistance training between cardio between the steps that you are doing if you have a very active job if you are just super active in general then my recommendation is to scale it back because this overall activity is probably a huge reason as to why you are more susceptible to binge eating because you know your hunger and your cravings are just out of control and remember that no matter how much cardio you do you could honestly jog on the treadmill for an hour straight but if your hunger and your cravings are through the roof, it is so easy to cancel out that cardio in 15, 20, 30 minutes of overeating. So if you just know that you are doing way, way too much at the moment, then I recommend taking that brave step and scaling it right back. And this is just only going to help you consume way less calories in the long run because your hunger and your cravings, they are going to go down. And as a result, your binging habits, they will decrease. Okay, so next up we have a protein cookie bowl. And when I hear protein cookies, sometimes I just think, no, that's just gonna take effort. I couldn't be arsed to be honest. Um, but that is why this recipe is insanely good. First of all, the ingredients are so straightforward. It's really easy to prepare. It takes very little time and it's actually filling as well. So it's a perfect kind of evening snack before you are winding down for bed. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna break up 50 grams of a banana into a bowl. I'm gonna mash the banana well with a spoon. To be honest, there's probably a better way of doing this than I am now, but it still works. Next in goes 35 grams of oat flour, which is just blended oats. 20 grams of vanilla whey protein from bulk. 20 ml of skimmed milk. 30 grams of fat-free yogurt. This one is banana and peanut butter flavor, but vanilla would also work really well. I'm gonna add in five ml of vanilla extract, one tablespoon of local sweetener, and about a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. Now let's give that a good mix. Okay, mix is looking good. And finally, I'm gonna add in 20 grams of chocolate chips and then give it another little mix again. Then I'm gonna get some baking parchment and separate the mixture into four cookies with a tablespoon. Okay, so this is how we are looking. And then I'm gonna pop them in the oven for 10 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. Okay, cookies are looking really, really good. They turned out quite well, thank God. And to add it all together, I'm gonna add 120 grams of fat-free yogurt to a bowl. I'm gonna add my four cookies into the mix. And just for that extra bit of flavor, probably doesn't need it, but let's go for it. I'm gonna add some zero cal maple syrup from bulk. Okay, so I hope you like the look of that protein cookie bowl. It is honestly so good. Make sure you give it a go. Uh, and I'm actually gonna combine my final two tips into one slightly bigger tip. And it comes back to when you actually have your snacks. So if you are more susceptible to binge eating in the evening time, which I think most people are, then you know something you could do is actually have your treat or your treats earlier in the day. So for example, if you usually have a chocolate bar uh, in the evening and that turns into two or three or four chocolate bars, uh, then you could take that chocolate bar and have it um, after lunch instead before going back to work because the likelihood of you uh, binging during the day when you still have things to do when you're still in the middle of your college day your, or your work day that is way way lower versus if you are just sitting on the couch watching Netflix just doing nothing waiting to go to bed and that kind of leads nicely into my fifth tip which is based around improving your sleep because if you have less to eat in the evening time especially less sweet stuff to eat in the evening time that will just encourage you to turn off Netflix a little bit sooner and go to bed a little bit earlier which is a very positive thing for most people because one you will be 
a lot more rested the following day and when you are well rested when you are in a good sleep routine this just helps keep your hunger and your cravings down and two you are actually in bed when you usually binge eat and you obviously cannot binge eat when you are asleep so this is just going to improve your binge eating habits straight away so this little change in routine in terms of having your treats earlier in the day not having as much later in the day going to bed a little bit earlier that can really set you up for success and at the end of the day everybody is different what works really well for somebody might not work well for others but this could be really helpful but I'm gonna wrap the video up there everyone I hope you enjoyed it and if you did make sure you comment below and let me know as I always say every single comment goes a long long way so does every single thumbs up so I'd really appreciate it remember that I've just opened up a few coaching spaces so if you are interested make sure you fill out my coaching application form in the comment section and yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you are all keeping well uh, and I will see you in the next video